I would like to acknowledge that this video is being filmed on the traditional lands of the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation. I pay my respects to their elders past and present, and extend that respect to any Aboriginal, Torres Strait Islander or First Nations people who may be watching this video today. Hi everyone, my name is Steph, this is The Novelty Corner and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have my July book haul. As with all my book hauls, I will start off with any review copies that I received and then move my way through multiple genres and then romance at the end because usually that's the biggest collection of books that I have. So kicking off with the books that I have for review, I have quite a few kids books this month. Again, Alan and Unwin have been very kind to me. I'm pretty sure every book here is from Alan and Unwin in this review section. So thank you very much to them. I love the relationship that I have with them. So, you know, it makes this very special. So I have two picture books. There is Flipper and Finnegan by Sophie Cunningham and illustrated by Anil Tortop. Again, I mentioned in my TBR video that this will have its own dedicated video. It will, that's coming, stay tuned. I also have The House on Pleasant Street by Sophie Laguna and Mark McBride. Again, this will have its own dedicated video and this one is sort of an Australian Halloween story, which will be fun. I also have How to Make a Pet Monster Smidgen. This is book three in a series. It's by Lily Wilkinson. It's very cute. It is about a group of friends who make each other pet monsters. And in this one, they're trying to make one of the characters a pet monster. And they end up on the set of a cooking show and things go horribly awry. Don't try and hatch dragon eggs when a cooking show is making souffle because there's eggs everywhere. This was really fun. I am in the middle of filming another kids book reading vlog so this will be reviewed fully in that one. And so will all of the rest of these books. There is Rise of the Mythics, The Last Gladiator by Arne Doe. This is book five in this particular series. There is E-Boy, book four, Rewired and Dangerous, also by Arne Doe. This is a series that I have not actually read any of the books from so I'm not familiar with his character, so that'll be a good one to try. And also Enola Holmes and The Elegant Escapade by Nancy Springer. Once I have read these, I'm actually going to donate them to my school library because the kids really love these books. They're very, very popular series over here at the moment. The final kids book that I have for review is this one. It's Rites of Passage, Words to Read Before You Turn 13, selected by Nicolette Jones. This is a collection of quotes and song lyrics and parts of speeches and all that sort of thing. I love collections like this, which is why I requested it in the first place. And also it's a really gorgeous book. So I'll have a review for that coming out soon as well. And then the final review copy that I received was Dark Rooms by Linda LaPlante. This was an unsolicited review copy. It is a crime mystery-ish story. I don't actually know anything about it. Murder hides behind closed doors. So it's about something about the horrors of someone's family home. So I will read this at some point. When does it come out? It comes out on the 16th of August. So if I get to it before then, I will let you know what's what it's about. All right, so now we're moving into books that I purchased for myself. These are the non-romance titles. So there is one young adult title. There is Heatwave by TJ Klune. This is book three in this series. Really enjoyed how TJ Klune fixed up the second book in the series. The first book had some problematic elements in it. I'm very curious to see where this one goes. This is Teenage Superheroes. Say no more. And I also picked up Fevered Star by Rebecca Roanhorse. I finally read Black Sun and I was so intrigued that I bought the next book. Yes, I bought another fantasy book. Who even am I? All right, so moving into the romance books that I have, I picked up Lost in Amber by Maz Maddox. This is the most recent release in the Relic series, Paranormal Romance, Dinosaur Shifters. I've talked about this book ad nauseum and the series, so I wanted a physical copy of it. Running Wild by K.A. Tucker. I read the Simple Wild series or the Wild series by K.A. Tucker and absolutely loved the whole thing, but this book had the biggest emotional impact on me and I had to own a copy of it. I want to do a reread. I want to tab it. I want to write in it. I loved this book so much. It is about Marie who has been in love with her best friend for the longest time and he has just married someone else and suddenly she is adrift. There are changes happening in her family. There are changes happening in her professional life. She's a vet by profession and she is having to deal with all of that as well as dealing with competitive musher Tyler Brady who has just come into town. Love this. It made me bore my eyes out. I also picked up a physical copy of Bright Like Wildfire by Juliet Cross. This was the first contemporary romance book that I've read by her and I really really enjoyed it so I wanted to have a copy of it. The Mistletoe Motive by Chloe Lee. I read this for my Christmas in July reading vlog linked on the screen and I adored this. I knew that I would. Chloe Lee is just wonderful. I love her stories. I love her characters. I love the demisexual rep in here. It just made my heart so happy. This is a new Christmas favorite. I also picked up three more books by Alexis Hall. These are all in the Glitterland series. So I picked up a physical copy of Glitterland, which I haven't read, but I will be reading at some point with Brie. I also wanted to get these before they change covers because I may be then buying the new covers. Waiting for the Flood, which is a really short novella, which I actually have read. I really love this book. And then Pansies, which I think is book four. So this takes place after For Real. And I haven't read this one yet. I just seem to be going backwards. I started at book three, went to book two. I'll probably go to book one first and then I'll 
swing back around to this one. That's just the way that I work. And then I got some really exciting book mail. This is the Love Notes from Paradise Summer 2022 book box. This was a Kickstarter, which I backed and I ended up just getting the, the hardcovers, two paperbacks and the eBooks for all, for all six of those books. I have read ooh, one of these books, I think so. Anyway, I've already taken most of the stuff out because it got a little bit banged up traveling uh, to Australia. Boxes like this just really take a beating. So there is an envelope, there was a little thank you card in here that says what I've got. There's also a little sticker for backing the Kickstarter and this also had the ebook codes in it as well. It comes with a lovely little magazine and there is interviews with the authors, there is discussions around the specially designed covers for all of these books. Very cool. So the two paperbacks that I received were Between the Waves by Ellie Maloof. I haven't read this author. I'm really looking forward to trying this. These have those beautiful matte covers. And also Last First Kiss by Nicole Falls. And then there are these, which are ginormous and heavy. So the one that I have read is The Thalanian Dynasty by Katie Robert. This is all three books. So there is a novella and two full length novels in here. So this is the special cover, which all of these dust jackets also have art on the reverse side and a design printed on the book, which is fabulous. There is A Booty Call by Ainsley Booth. I don't know anything about this author or anything about this book, but yes. Art on the cover, art on the dust jacket. Then there is Heart and Hand by Rebel Carter. I've read one Rebel Carter book before, so. Like you could def totally turn these inside out to have the other reverse cover if you wanted to. And then the last one is by an author I have read plenty of, but I have not read this book. It is Office Hours by Katrina Jackson. So I'm very pleased with those books. All right, so those are all the books that I acquired in July. In the comments, let me know if you have picked up anything new. If you've read any of these books, particularly the ones that I haven't got to yet that you think I should pick up sooner rather than later, let me know in the comments. If you want to let me know that you're here but you don't want to leave a comment, feel free to leave a crown emoji down below. Otherwise, I hope that wherever you are in the world, you're staying safe and healthy and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye everyone.